All right, so here we go. I'm going to give my next installment for this uh, trying to figure out, try to use uh, the soldier's rules and uh, bringing it into uh, the Great War in Africa, basically. Um, I'm having some difficulties doing the uh, counters right now, but I wanted to, I just want to play a flipping game for Christ's sakes and do, or do something. So I decided, well, let's, incorporate whatever the hell I can. So the Germans are on this side of the board and the uh, British forces are on this side of the board. Uh, it's, I'm very simple trying to do the best I can. So I'm also this is a it's not a real battle or a historical whatever but it's based on lots of things that I've uh, read about. One of them I think I alluded to the last time with these, uh, this video was, there was at one point the British um, made an attack on a, a certain spot. There was an advanced position. They were able to, able to take that. Uh, they took quite a bit of uh, hits. Uh, they w withdrew and waited for reinforcements to arrive. And when they got back, uh, they were surprised that the initial position was not uh, taken back by the Germans. It's primarily because they couldn't clue in, as f from what I've been reading in anyways, um, they didn't clue in at the beginning what the German um, strategy was basically uh, in Cameroon, which was they were going to like withdraw and go north and like I said, try to keep as much territory as possible in the event that if there was a settled peace, they could uh, reclaim the colony, that type of stuff. Okie doke. So in this scenario, I've basically said that the British came in, took out Von Reed's farm, um, but withdrew to wait for reinforcements. This happened often uh, from what I've been also reading. I'm also trying to incorporate a little, uh, some other things I've been reading about, which is the, the rivers were extremely important at the time of year. You could bring gunboats up, but you had to worry about uh, them getting stuck uh, if the, you know, the rivers uh, started to uh, recede and so on and so forth. So I'm going to use that as well. You're going to see in a bit, I hope. Um, I don't have the proper account. Like I said, I haven't done counters yet. And I don't have enough units or differentiations uh, for things. So in this universe, which kind of seems historically plausible from what I've been reading, is the Germans have withdrawn their artillery. They don't have any, any artillery. However, they would certainly like to um, cause as much grief to the British uh, coming. They may not, they're not expecting to keep Germantown. That's why they've... Uh, taking out the um, artillery and trying to remove as many of the supplies. So what they're trying to do essentially, okay, the victory conditions are this. The British want to put a unit here. I'm going to uh, give it 12 turns if it's not enough. Like I said, I don't know yet. I'm just going with things. Um, if they can put a British unit here, what they want, the British want to do is basically, they don't want to stay here. They want to go back historically, which happened often from what I've been reading. They want to go back to their line of communications and so on and so forth. They just want to make sure, like, better defensible areas and so whatever. They just don't want the Germans to get back to this spot. So they want to get to this spot, burn it down to the ground, and then leave. That's what they want to do. I'm using the uh, gunboat over here, but he, uh, the riverboat captain or whatever you want to call that person, is saying, well, that's about as far as I want to go. I haven't uh, made the um, combat values for this, this guy. Uh, but anyways, every time this person goes one hex uh, forward, it's going to be a dot. Uh, so if he rolls a 12, um, he gets beached. That's it. He's stuck there. You can still shoot, but it's like you're screwed. Then it's uh, 11, or, 11 or 12, 10 or 11 or 12. You get the idea, I hope. Um, yeah. So these guys are machine gun units. I don't have the, the whatever. So they've got two machine gun units. 
Um, the British have one machine gun unit, but they have two field uh, gun uh, platoons or whatever the hell they're called. Um, and the Germans have got some improved positions and some trenches uh, set up. And away we go. Uh, the British have way more troops. I think it's like 6 to 12 or something like that. Um, I made the British and the um, German infantry essentially the same like I mentioned before with the Great War in Africa. It's essentially black on black uh, combat and I didn't I don't want to get like the the combat values for example for the British in soldiers is based on the um, the trained troops. Yeah, uh, the the BEF, the initial bits, they're monstrous. So I'm, I'm not going to get into that. So British infantry and German infantry uh, have a four, uh, uh, four attack value, four range, four stacking uh, point value, and they take up four, and uh, five of movement. British artillery is a three attack, 15 range, two stacking, four movement. Uh, maybe I should show it while I'm saying... I don't know if you'll see it, see it because I'm not looking. Uh, I'm just going with this. So the Germans have two machine guns. The British have one machine gun, two artillery, and a lot more uh, British artillery. We're going to go with it. The terrain is the same for woods in soldiers. as in ta Everything is the same except for the light woods. And these guys are rivers, which are going to act, uh, or streams, or whatever the hell you want to call them. Um, they're going to act like canals. Um, oh yeah, his move, like I said, he's, he can move, what is he, nuts? He's going to move uh, um, uh, doesn't matter about the river boat for now. Um, I'm going to go with this and we'll see how this goes. I don't know if uh, the small size of the map is going to affect things really quickly. Yeah, what I wanted to do with the light woods essentially is um, it's layers of translucency. So if there's like um, four hex, uh, four light hex, uh, woods hexes between you, like you and adjacent, uh, they're hidden. Your one away, it's going to be three. Your two away, it's two. One away, you get the idea. So um, that's it. Uh, and of course, if they were like here and you're four away or whatever, it's like they're hidden. I hope you get the idea. I don't know if this makes sense, but I think it'll be fun. And I, it's bringing me back into the context of doing something with um, Africa, as far as I'm concerned. And I like this bit. I, that's not too, too beyond uh, whatever. Okay, off I go.